you took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. Gotta get to higher ground. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of monarch. I don't know, maybe you could sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I could pick you up. Let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. That was Dr. Amaral. Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Better get inside before the chopper spots me. Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright Thanks ideas? Thanks for your patience, folks. Have you on your way again soon. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. Right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay, how are we getting down there? Where's the fire pole?
enemy Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you? No, but it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it, slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. I should get up on that bridge and make my way across it before this stutter ends. scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. Man, I'm not the one you should be scared of, guy.
Okay, good. Just gotta make it across this damn bridge and I'll be clear. This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow I had to find my way across. Hope for the best.
I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught violent loops off. towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what gave it time to look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. And no one would know. Come on, hold still. Come on, come on, come on. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said, I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. 
We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Dr. Amaral seems convinced that Paul's been to the end of time. Do you think that's true? Can't be. Otherwise, trying to prevent it would be pointless. Why? Because it's already happened. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. First red light is now green. Good. One more to go. I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. Maybe you can fly on the last thing you said.
got to see this. I'm serious, Jack. This is big stuff I've got here. Hey, shouldn't you be keeping an eye on Amaral? Okay, but first, you need to check there. Date is. Oh, the date is. It's, it's February 28th. Jesus, Will. William Joyce. 1999. After months First experiment. of arduous work, my machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black hole's mass density by tangent. Okay, in short summary, the time machine and it works. I'm gonna prove it or die. Okay, just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay, core is active, chronon levels are stable. I'll travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. The corridor is locked in place. Okay, setting the date to five minutes, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. The corridor is locked in place. Okay, setting the date to five minutes to the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive, but I can travel backwards in time only as far as the first activation of the machine's core, which is, well, now. Machine's ready. Monitor is stable. What I'm about to do is gonna change the very fabric of I don't remember. What's on the computer? Monarch files I uploaded, and I kept the juiciest stuff on screen for you. Hey, Amy, what am I looking at here? I've been recording Monarch communications with the radio that Beth left me. I made a compilation of anything that seemed like it might be useful. Anybody here we can trust? Fiona. She's my only remaining contact on the inside. What about this Burke guy? He was under arrest in the same transport as me. Jury's still out on Burke. This is Serene's original manifesto for Monarch. <sighs> they had us practically memorize this. He actually believes he's doing the right thing. It's because he doesn't think the fracture can be stopped. And he's wrong. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. I kept everything. You made this? I 
I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. Notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. Climbable. Ready. It's actually functional. Okay. Okay, we're doing this. I'll set the date into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? No turning back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. What did you do? Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? Thank you. 
Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait. Because I wasn't alone. Hey, Bobby Radford coming at you. Someone's in here. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016. It's locked. I gotta check out that gunfire before I go anywhere else. What the hell is that? What the fuck are they shooting at? Dr. Emeril sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. Set William's machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't hey, shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! It's okay! Hey! It's okay! Ah. It's okay! I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. Eleven years. I'll unlock the door. So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop. Where he built it. Then that's where we go. But yes. That was the plan. Just have to unlock this. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know that you never saw. I... I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just worried what that might mean. It means we. You need gear? 
Take whatever you need. The rest of it's going in the river. Along with everything else I brought here. That's a little drastic. My time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Let me know when you're ready to go. Okay. The countermeasures at Will's workshop. We find it, then what? You bring it back here, use the machine, and return to the future. Use it to stop the fracture. That was always the plan. That is still the plan. Yes. I can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, we'll change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. You with... still don't get it. <laughs> it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over and over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Then we'll die finding out. I don't know a fraction of the hell that Beth went through, what she experienced when she saw the end of time, how that changed her, like it changed Paul, followed by 11 years of living like a ghost. Beth I'd known had laser focus. This Beth, she had doubts. You okay? Yeah. But the countermeasure. The one thing that could set things right was waiting for us at Will's workshop. There it is. In 2010, Monarch didn't own the area yet. That came shortly after because of what happened with you. But we knew William was building something new in his workshop, and we knew it must be important. We were monitoring the place. Yeah, Beth knew about your presence. She'd done spying on her own. We came over the rooftops to avoid detection. Does Will know we're coming? No, he doesn't. Whoops, sorry. From this point on, we may be in their sights. We need to be quick. Hey, Will? He's not here. I made sure of that. 
What? Why? He's the only one that knows how to use the countermeasure. Which is why he needs to be kept safe. In case... Things go bad. Fine. We get the device, then you lead me to my brother. Sure. Now, where do we find this thing? Wilson we'll secured it inside a safe. Hey, we have a boy. I'm pretty sure he pulled it out of a bit inside All right, well, where'd you hide that safe? By the man from the future. Since Wilder, I've moved the machine. Hidden it. You'd been there before. Witnessed flashes through time. I assume pieces of that puzzle had come together since. And some are yet to come. Door's locked. Knowing Will, that's where the safe is. Just need to find a way in. See here. The device wasn't there, but it must have been at one time. It was all there on the board. The details of his downward spiral. The power setup was. His work there. consumed him, but it must it have been some kind of desperate point. obsession. Maybe I can use my time same. to get this working. Shit, shit. Locked out again. Locked out again. Where was the Where was failsafe the switch? switch? Follow the wire. Which one was it? Was it? Blue? Blue? Or was that the emergency shutdown? Oh, shit. Oh, I knew I should, I should have labeled the wiring. wiring. And... Open, open sesame. sesame. Emergency, emergency shutdown, shutdown initiated. initiated. Shit! shit. Ass. Ass! Fucking, Fucking god, god damn, it. damn it! Yellow, Yellow wire, wire, I knew it. it. I built a goddamn time machine, but I can't remember to keep a piece of shit door unlocked. There we go. Doors unlocked. Come take a look at this. He didn't leave the code, but I can crack it. I just need some time to. Somebody's here. It's Monarch. I knew it. I knew they'd find us. I'll take care of it. Just get that safe open, stay inside. Yeah. Okay. You'd been spotted the moment you arrived. You never had a chance. You were on a suicide mission. Yeah. I wasn't gonna lie down and just give up without a fight. Not then, not ever. This is Trojan 1, approaching workshop perimeter. Over. Remember, orders are to take her alive. Stop right there! Where's the girl? Hey, 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 hold on. Take it easy. He's got a gun! Open fire! Sit rep. She 
of? He's... I don't know what he is! Orders are to keep the mission quiet, tidy. We can't afford unwanted attention. He's fucking tearing us apart! I'm on my way. Hold the momentum. Stop right there. Where's the girl? Hey, 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 hold on. Take it easy. He's got a gun! Open fire!
years ago. Pop. Give me the device. Come with me. We can survive this together. You know it can't be stopped. I can see it in your eyes. You know this. What if you're wrong? Created Ground Zero. Caused everything to happen how it always did. Every piece falling into place. Except one. The blast sent you through time. Brought you back to 2016. The same exact time from which you left. Something anchored you there. We need to know how you did this. You think I wanted to come back? I was pulled away. Everything I came for was still back there. Left behind. Serene had the countermeasure the whole time. I had to get it back. A rash decision. You claim Beth Wilder's death had no impact on your behavior, but... Like I said, I barely knew her. So, what you did next? It wasn't personal? No. 